Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna learn how to create a data model, run the pipeline for the model, the experiment, and automate the build process of training our model in Kubeflow, okay? So first things first, actually, I just wanna head over to VS Code. And what you're gonna wanna do is, well, first you need Python, because it's gonna be a Python model that we're building. Well, we're using Python to build the model. So you're gonna install this KFP library, this is the Kubeflow pipeline library. And then you're just gonna go ahead, you're gonna save this code in a Python script and run it. Now, when you run it, you're gonna see an output similar to this. You're gonna have this pipeline.yaml and that's what we're gonna to use to import into Kubeflow. So let's head back over to the browser here, All right? And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to pipelines I'm gonna click upload pipeline. It's gonna be a new one. I'll have it private. We'll just call it PyTest. We'll do this upload file here. And I'm just gonna choose that pipeline that we were just showcasing via VS Code. All right, and I'm gonna click create. Now, as we can see here, this is now sitting. So what we'll do is we'll create an experiment. We'll say PyTest EX next. We have all the details here. If we scroll down, it's gonna ask for a string. And if you remember in the Python code, it was just returning you know, some name or whatever we really wanted to return. It's kind of like the hello world of model, so to speak. So we'll just say Mike to make it easy. Run type, we can either choose one time or recurring. And this is to automatically build that model, all right? So we can set it up as a cron or we can set it up as periodic. You can have a start date, end date, and then have it run every hour. So again, this is the automation to get our pipeline actually running, get that model trained constantly versus us having to run it, you know, ourselves manually. Okay, so I'm gonna click start. All right, and as we can see, that has started. We can go to runs here. Should be able to see something pop up in a second. Let's go back to experiments. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Yep. All right. So we have our experiment here. We'll go ahead and we'll create the run. We'll choose the pipeline. All right. We can see all that right here. Let's try that one more time. Say, Mike, for some reason it didn't kick off before, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and give that a shot again. We'll click start here. All right, and as you can see, it was created, enabled. Ah, okay, that's why we don't see it in the runs because it hasn't ran yet, it runs every hour. So what we can do is we can just do test immediate. We'll create another one here. We can utilize the same pipeline, utilize our experiment. We'll do a one-off, that way we can just see it kick off now. We'll do start and then boom, here it is, okay. So if we go back to runs, we can see this run is now starting. And of course, because it's in a pipeline, because it's in an experiment, we can have multiple runs pointing to the same experiment and the same pipeline. That's one of the reasons that you would use something like Kubeflow for the automatic model creation and training. And then if we click on this run, you can see it right here. You can see input, task details, any logs, right there are no logs at the moment detail of the pipeline the pipeline spec and if you want to you can just wait until this is fully complete all right and as we can see the status is complete that was successful so if you want to build some models and train them on kubernetes this is a quick way on getting started